YouTube. I'm your host, Dennis Nicholson, here today here to give you another of the Nicholson Cowboys Network here to talk about um, and totally one of my favorite favorite defensive coordinators. I'm just, you know, going to clap it up for Mike Nolan. Should I be clapping? No. I should be clapping because he sucks. Let's just be honest. M- M- Mike Nolan has yet to prove to me that he's a good defensive coordinator. Personally, me, like even when we had Jason Garrett, I, I think Ron Marilani to me was still a great defense coordinator. I always knew when we had Jason Garrett, Scott Linehan, and Ron Marilani, I knew Ron Marilani wasn't the problem. I always knew it was Scott Linehan and Jason Garrett. And I think it's the same situation here, but it's the opposite. Mike McCarthy and Jim Tuzla, and not Jim, Jim Tuzla, uh, I meant to say Kellen Moore. But I think Jim Tuzla is on there too. I think he's uh, offense specialist. He's somewhere. Let me look. Or he might. Or I might. I might be thinking of a different team. Don't know. But I know he's on the Cowboys somewhere. I think he's like quarterback coach. Yeah, he's the defensive line coach for the Dallas Cowboys. So I, I knew he was somewhere. But Mike Nolan has yet to prove to me if he is even a good because Kellen Moore and Mike McCarthy I already know is they're they're it's not Mike McCarthy's fault because it's not it's not like Mike McCarthy at the end of the day is going to be able to get that defense to work. I mean he can, but same token, that is your defensive coordinator. Your defensive coordinator, he is designed to coordinate plays for your defense. You can give them the playbook, but it's up to him to indicate what that team should do. And he's been on many other teams. Washington football team, New York Jets, Baltimore Ravens, Falcons, Miami Dolphins. He was former defensive coordinators for all those teams. Looking at this, man, it's like, I mean, it's like, okay, like the 49ers might be a team that, I think that's the only team out of the whole, like, pack that I could say, okay, yeah, that's a, I just, I I don't see a track record that goes, ooh, that's such a great track record. I don't know why why Mike why Mike McCarthy got him. I don't know. I trusted Mike McCarthy thinking that okay, let's see what this guy got. <laughs> well, he got a whole lot of nothing because let me tell you. If he had a lot of good something, if he was a good coordinator, we wouldn't be playing this bad. We wouldn't be as bad as as our football team on the first season that we played ever in the NFL. Our defense will not be playing like that. Because that defense, let me let me tell you how bad our team was in 1960. I could pull it up right here. That's why you got your trusty boy Google. I think we, what, won one game? I don't think even that. I think we, like, no. <laughs> let me correct you. One tie. Zero to 11 and a tie. You know, to be honest, I think at this rate, I, I mean, I agree with my dad. Me and my dad were talking after um I got done with the video. And I agree with him when he says that. Playoff team? <laughs> my dad scoffed at that. Like, and, and I agree with him. As I said, I think the worst record we're going is probably 2-14. and 14. I can see us maybe winning one more game. Best record? Seven and nine, six and ten. That's what, like, literally, I think this team is so bad on defense that I just don't think we're going to win the rest of their games. Now, if we do, I'm obviously going to be happy. There's no buts or ifs. If we do win our games somehow, and if we do come in and clutch it up, and Mike Nolan proves me wrong, then Mike Nolan proves me wrong. But as far as I'm seeing, he ain't proving me wrong. 
And with all this talk that Mike McCarthy's the problem, Mike McCarthy's not the problem. I'm sitting here trying to tell you, Mike McCarthy is not in control of that defense. The defensive coordinator's in control of that defense. It's like with Jason Garrett. Jason Garrett was not in control of that offense. He was in control. Scott Linehan was in control of that offense. Now, granted, Jason Garrett, even as just as head coach in general, I don't like Jason Garrett, and I hope we kick his living butt this week. I swear, I will be, I will be okay going with three and 13 and have our two wins be against Jason Garrett to prove that we made a good move of firing Jason Garrett. Cause let's be honest. I wouldn't want to be a giants fan right now because not only is Daniel Jones sucking, but they have one of the worst coaches they could probably have as their offensive coordinator. That whole team is horrendous. And I really feel bad. Like I shout out to my boy Bengal. That's, of not only a great YouTuber I love to watch, but a Giants fan. Shout out to him. Feel bad for him because you have a dreadful offensive coordinator. I, I I don't know what to tell you. All I could tell you, Cowboy fans, is that Mike Nolan's not the guy. I just don't. I will not be surprised at the end of the season if we see a personnel change in, on the defense. I think even if we go to the playoffs. I would not be too shocked to see Mike Nolan be fired. I, 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 I'd I, be, I wouldn't be surpri- too surprised that the whole defensive staff gets fired. Like, we're playing god awful. It's like, it's so frustrating to sit here and talk about, you know, and obviously, at the same token, it's like it's the first season where you have a new system, you have a new coaching staff. So, I mean, that could be a reason too. So, at the same token, even though I'm not seeing progress, I think we just, we, I, to be honest, man, I'll tank this season, dude, and just get a good draft pick, you know, revamp. You know, it's like it's not that we're not talented, but the same token, we got you got to really just teach these guys th- this new playbook because apparently the defense really is not understanding Mike Nolan's playbook, or we're just flat out terrible because we are so injury prone that our defense is thin to none on linebackers and backcourt. So, I mean, hey, I can't, can't I, I can only give you what I see. You know, I can't, I'm not the defensive coordinator of the Dallas Cowboys. I can't sit here and systematically give you why we're sucking. All I could do is look at that one stat line that we let up 307 rushing yards. Last time I checked, that isn't a good track record, now is it? So, Mike Nolan. It's okay to be bad for one year. But having your defense letting up 307 yards of rushing, that's a no-go. That's a no-go. <laughs> and, I, and I don't think Jerry would be shaking his head in happiness with you letting up that amount of rushing yards. But what am I? I'm just some random Cowboy fan that wants to spit out the brutal, honest truth. I'm probably the most brutal, honest cowboy fan that you'll probably ever meet. So, I think this is going to be pretty much the video. I'm going to probably definitely tomorrow. going to give you a little bit more update on injuries because usually Mondays and Tuesdays, they don't practice too much. You know, they're kind of getting back into the rhythm. I think they're literally, I think they're just about to start practicing. So... I'll give you updates on, you know, Dalton Stoltz. I think his status has um, changed a bit. I'll look more into it. And I'll give you the deets tomorrow. But as far as I know, Mike Nolan is all he's giving me is just disappointment. And this is your host, Dennis Nicholson, from the Nicholson Cowboys Network, signing out. Peace.